feel very weird talking to a camera. Anyway, I already made a video about doll slings. However, the volume is horrible on it and I don't know how to fix it other than to take it down and redo it. YouTube is harder than it looks and there's just a lot of components to it and I didn't realize that my volume was horrible. Maybe it, it still is, but I just turned the volume up to 400% twice and it seems to do the trick just fine. This is why people ask for like and subscribe because then people can afford equipment so they can sound better so that more people watch their videos. It's a whole thing. Anyway, I wanted to talk about doll slings again because I think they're great and I'm really bummed that my video had super, super duper quiet sound. Okay, so these are for baby dolls, not for babies. Just had to say that. Ugh. I really loved using my ring sling with my babies. And so I just fell in love with this idea of having a ring sling for my kiddos um, to carry their dolls around. And my daughter used her ring slings because uh, we had a few for many, many years and she just loved them. And it was so sweet to watch her walking around and carrying her dolls in the air. This has also been a really great gift to give to kids because it's just something unique and handmade, but I also feel like really special, um, especially if that kiddo is going to be getting a new sibling or a new baby cousin, or friends of theirs, or neighbors of theirs are getting a new baby. Um, it's just kind of a cute gift. Or if they just really like dolls and animals and want to carry them around. I like doll slings because they're a really easy, easy sewing project if you're learning to sew. And I like that you can reuse fabrics. A great fabric to make these out of is actually upcycled baby upcycled baby blankets. So let me show you one. Okay, so this is a baby blanket, used to be, and all I did was I cut the baby blanket in half and, um, here, let me hold up this side of it. Okay, so I cut the baby blanket in half and most of the, you know, stitching, edging was done for me just because of the blanket, right? So like, the ends were done and one of the sides was done. And then because I had cut it down the middle, I just had to sew. That looks too good to be my sewing. Hold on. I think this is mine. Okay, so then I just had to sew the one side where I'd cut it down the middle and I got two slings out of it. I think I gave the other one away already. If your fabric does not have some of the edges done, um, you're just gonna go to your sewing machine and fold the fabric over on itself and stitch it down all the way around. And that's it. It's pretty easy, but tedious. This is probably for a smaller kiddo. And I will put some measurements up on the, you know, in the middle of the video. Um, but your measurements are really gonna depend on what size child you are making the doll sling for. So if you're making your sling for a two-year-old versus, you know, like a six or seven-year-old, it's going to be a very different size. But the good news is they're so easy to make. You can just make a new one if they still love them as they get older. All right. So when you're making the sling, um, after you get your rectangular piece of fabric, however big that might be, and whatever fabric you want to use. So I've got like this old baby blanket. I've got this one made out of just sort of a red pink reddish pinkish fabric which I really like it's a really nice quality keep in mind that you will see the front and the back so it's you know just keep that in mind I've got this one which I think is a really beautiful fabric unfortunately it just kind of gets a little wrinkly which probably is not the best choice for kiddos who are going to be you know carrying it around this one I made out of just an old pillowcase that I cut open. You can kind of see the pillowcase stitching, but it makes for a really cute doll sling and it's super easy to just upcycle that pillowcase. And I like that it's kind of a more gender neutral fabric. 
And then this one's just from an old skirt. So um, yeah, it's really great because you can just reuse fabrics. Sheets that you can't donate for whatever reason, um, pillowcases, you can just cut open and have a, a longer piece of fabric. Baby blankets are great. Okay, I had to check that it was recording because that's what I do. Uh, so once you have your rectangular piece of fabric, you are going to fold your fabric into an accordion style. You're going to fold it accordion style. And so for that, you're just going to fold the fabric in on itself. You know what? I'm going to show you the sling I carried my babies in because it's done beautifully. Hold on one sec. Hello. All right. So I carried both my babies in a sling, not a doll sling. I got it off of Etsy and just look at how beautiful that accordion style stitching is. Mine is not like that. You can see it's kind of fraying. So it's a good thing I was done carrying my babies in here. Uh, probably not safe to do that for very long. Um, but it is a really strong stitching that she used. Obviously do not carry babies or um, animals in these doll slings that I'm talking about because they are not meant for live animals or people. You'll be able to see that my accordion style is not quite as beautiful as the one I just showed you. But um, the basic idea is you fold it accordion style, then you fold the fabric over on itself and stitch it down. So I'm going to do my best with this accordion style fabric to show you and talk at the same time is a little bit challenging. I'm not gonna lie. Do you see kind of what I'm getting at here? Back and forth, back and forth, but staggered. Okay. So, um, once you've got that beautiful accordion style, you're going to fold this down just a wee bit. You want to have like enough room for the rings to go through, which I'm going to talk about. And then you're just going to stitch it closed with that little accordion style thing still happening. I'm going to show you on the other side, kind of what it looks like when it's done. So like this, I folded it over on itself and stitched it. I stitched it a couple times. See how there's a little gap? You probably can't see, but there's a little gap right here. And that's where your rings are gonna go through. I really wish the fridge wouldn't make that noise right now. What I used for the rings are these binder rings. Don't really know what people use these for in real life, but um, they're about two inches in diameter and um, I got them at a garage sale. I'm sure an office supply store has them, but it's also the kind of thing that people have and then, you know, like don't need. So ask on free cycle or ask friends and family. Um, like I said, I found a bunch at a garage sale. Now I have like tons of these things, but what's great about them is they open and close, right? So I put two through the um, gap at the top of the sling What's cool about them is that you can take them out when you inevitably want to wash the sling. Okay, so you've got two, you're going to grab the bottom of the sling. Now, again, depending on how tall your kiddo is, this, whoops, this sling could be super long. This one is super long um, or shorter. Okay, so you're going to take that uh, tail end and the ring end. You're going to stick the tail end through the rings just a wee bit. Then you are going to fold over the first ring, over the first ring, and then into the second ring, creating sort of like a sash. Ugh. This does not pull, uh, this does not adjust and pull quite as beautifully as my professional baby ring sling does, but it still works, okay? So then you've got, you know, your sling with the tail, which is adjustable depending on the kiddo's height. So, you know, you don't have to have a perfectly sized baby doll sling. Then your kiddo's just gonna put their arm through the wide opening and put it over their shoulder. I'm just gonna try with this baby sling. Oh, no, there we go, okay. And then, um, I should probably show you on the other sling, but then they create like this little pocket, just like a baby sling. And they can put their little animal in here and kind of pull it tighter and adjust it. So fun. Ugh. Fun gift because it's simple. 
and it's homemade. You can use customized fabric for whatever, you know, your little kiddo who you're giving it to might be really interested in owls um, or unicorns or whatever they're interested in. You can find a customized fabric for them. Um, you can upcycle fabrics. So I just, I love a lot about this project. I love making a bunch of these at once and just keeping them in sort of a future gifts box so that um, I have them on hand. They make a great kind of simple, unique gift. So I hope that all made sense. I hope this video is louder than the other one. Maybe I should talk. Maybe I should talk louder. It's weird talking to yourself. Anyway, I hope you like this project and thank you so much for being here and for watching. Your actions can and will make a difference.